Hello everybody, True here bringing you another AMC The Walking Dead No Man's Land Outpost video. This is a more detailed look at how to create your actual own outpost which will be used to defend your own trade goods. So we need to begin by going into the outpost menu which we can do by clicking on the building and then the castle symbol or simply by clicking on the castle symbol to the right of the screen. Once we're in there we want to use the bottom area here which is manage outposts, change location and change defenders. So first of all we have to pick the location. Now I've obviously got a base already set up so when I click this it'll come up with a message which you won't normally see if you're setting this up for the first time. But nevertheless you will still end up at a screen like this. Now these are the various locations which you can pick to base your outpost. Now all of these won't actually be unlocked when you first start playing the outpost expansion. You will have to level up your outpost building to unlock more of these. This currently is the maximum you can get by leveling up your outpost to level 5. All of these generally do is the further to the right it is, is the higher level outpost. And it only really lets you place more walkers down there. So you allowed more special walkers like the fat walkers and the police walkers, but we'll cover that in a bit more detail. But we'll start off with the lakeside, which is what everybody will have initially when they go to the outpost for the first time. Now you're presented with a screen like this. Your outpost is split up into three sections. You have to the left, you have your spawn point. The central bit is where the first objective usually is. Now that can either be capture the flag or a loot crate depending on which tile set you pick, which location you pick, that does differ. And the third area will be the vice, you know, the vice versa of the second area. And will also be where you place your actual human defenders. So you can see there's arrows at the top and bottom of each of these areas. So what you do is you simply have four choices for each section of your base and you just scroll through the layouts and pick the layout that you would like to have. So I'm going to go for the one I originally had it on here, which means they will spawn on the blue sections and they will have to wind their way around the base in one direction so they'll have no option to plough through all my defenders. So you move to the second area, you will then choose the location of where your ob first objectives will be. Same kind of thing, you just scroll through and choose the layout which you think will be the most defensible for yourself. Now I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with this one here, so they've got to make their way around to this corner to get the third objective. Now third location again is inside your base and this is where you're going to put your human defenders. So we'll scroll through and have a quick look at them. This time it's defending a crate, like I say sometimes it can be defending a actual um, flag itself. So. I'm going to go with this one here, so it's got some solid walls to the top and bottom and it's got some fences which ranged ranged um, players will be able to shoot through. So I'm going to go with that. Now we have to place as defenders. Now when you first start the outpost you won't generally have any zombies, any special zombies to actually put down. So we'll start with our human defenders. So if we click on the third section of the map we actually zoom in. Now. If you've not assigned any defenders, you, it will automatically assign three very basic low level ones. I think they assigned me f um, three extra characters for, which are level nine, so I could place them in there. But I suggest you change your team, but I'll cover that in a moment's time. Right, so you simply click on the icon and hold. And then you drag it to the location that you actually want to place the defender. So this is a warrior. So we're going to place him right around the corner there. Oh, wrong square. There we go. And we're going to do the same with the uh, scout as well. He's going to go over there. And we're going to have the assault through the fence to cover those two. Now, I'll stick on the assault at the moment. You then have to choose its intelligence. You can have it stationary which means it will just stay in that grid square and not move regardless if it's under attack or whatever. It will just simply stay there and fire at opponents that come in range. You can choose defensive which is exactly what that says. It will play defensive, it will defend the Kray, it will take evasive action to protect itself to make it survive but it will also try and defend and kill the attackers. 
or your third option is offensive where they will just simply head towards the attackers and try and take them out regardless of their own personal safety. So I'm going to go for stationary on that one because I want him to cover that area where they come into the base. But for the other two guys, I'm going to quickly go offensive. So these guys, I want to literally rush out as soon as the base is breached and attack the people in the in the gate area. So that concludes the defensive section of our base there. But now, once we've played the expansion for a little bit, we will have bought special walkers at some point. And you, this is where you can place your special walkers. You just click another map section, you can see I've got one armoured walker and one tank to place. So same thing as moving your survivors around. I'm going to place a tank there so that'll be a nasty surprise whoever walks around that corner. You can't set any AI for the walkers, unfortunately. So we just have to leave the game to, to sort that out itself. And finally, we'll put an armoured walker right near the start as well, just so we know we mean business and we have got more specials to uh, to come from them. And that's pretty much it. You then click OK, you click Complete, and then that's our outpost created, so people can now attack the outpost with those defenders. So speaking of the defenders, if we didn't want the ones that originally assigned us, we wanted to put our own higher level defenders in there, we will click the change defenders button. I would simply just assign them as we would assigning survivors to a normal mission which would play. Now do bear in mind that whoever you assign to the outposts, you are not able to pick them for regular missions. So bear that in mind, they will be unavailable while they are guarding your outpost. So if you do want to take them on a mission, you would have to go into this menu, deselect them, replace them with somebody else, and then put them in your in your in your mission squad. Now the thing with these guys is, even if somebody raids your base and say you got decimated, these guys won't actually be injured, they don't incur any injuries or hospital time if they do lose or take damage, so that is good. And that's pretty much Outposts in a, in a nutshell really, how to quickly create your own, hope that helps, please remember to like, comment and subscribe on the video and if you have any questions please put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.